Hello guys, RPM Designs. Um, yeah, this is a video on the Gigabyte, about the Gigabyte uh, Z790 Aorus Elite X Wi-Fi 7. And why you shouldn't buy it, uh, it's just a piece of crap. Uh, it really is, and I have proof of that, how bad this board really is. It has a lot of quirks and, and, and weirdness. And uh, maybe it's specific to my board, related to only my board, I don't know. It would be very weird, but yeah, some people don't have issues with it. I don't believe it. Some people just, I don't know, just are comfortable with everything. <laughs> but I'm not. I mean, it should work and it should work perfectly. These boards are not cheap. I mean, 350 euros for a board, for a fucking motherboard is, in my opinion, already too much money. But anyway, um, I digress. Um, the problem I have is memory stability, and the memory stability is just horrible, horrible, just horrible, the worst out of all the boards, I believe. Um, yeah, where do I begin? Well, at first I just set the 7600 megahertz. And uh, yeah, yeah, disable fast boot so it trains. Put it in gear two mode, of course, uh, because you know, reloop four times. Did uh, we try and let it train, let it do whatever it does? And mostly, I just go for that and just like see what the motherboard can do. Sometimes it has pretty decent timings, but it's just if it works. And that's a big if, because sometimes it just doesn't even boot. This this thing is can be tricky if you have like an, uh, a problem, then um, like a boot loop or whatever reason it doesn't boot, whatever you can. But I know 1.2 just works. Um, yeah. These voltages, I also set them, they worked perfectly fine before uh, these voltages are also good I mean, there's no reason why this thing shouldn't boot you know the f6 bias the newest the new uh, bias i would say a gisa but that's amd this is the newest stable bias for this board but uh, yeah i don't know i i really I, I start to think i don't like gigabyte anymore because there's so many weird quirks and issues with it like uh, you know, which is no, it's not worth it. Uh, also, the CP score is much higher than before for some reason. <laughs> it's so stupid, and it always fluctuates, uh, which I don't think it's a good idea. It's just it's a piece of crap. I mean, hardware-wise, maybe these boards are nice, but even then, the layout and everything, man, I'm just over it. I think. And my next board will be or an MSI or it will be ASRock because this is just Asus is out of the question too because their their boards are even way worse than this and if you have a problem you have a problem there's no warranty there's nothing so that's why I chose <laughs> Gigabyte but yeah Gigabyte is also uh, not trustworthy doesn't work properly uh, voltage settings, I mean, everything is on auto, there is no reason, it just train, man, what the fuck, <laughs> it, should, it should work, man, like, honestly, but it doesn't, I'm going to show you, didn't change anything, it says, uh, I don't know why it's saying that, this, this thing is just garbage, I mean, honestly, And it takes forever to train because it cannot even boot. Not even at, <laughs> at trained settings. Man, what the fuck? Yeah, let me show you. This is what it looks like when it's training. You can see the colors and. And 
underneath the fan. Uh, there is the light for the training. It doesn't even come with a Q code LED thing. I don't know. These boards are just too quirky for me. Maybe it's this board. Maybe this board is just not very good for the uh, 14700K CPU. I don't know. But this board is a piece of crap. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Maybe it's not a good idea to have a cheap board with an, uh, a decent CPU. Maybe that's a problem. I don't know. And it turns off. It doesn't want to boot. How in a holy fuck can this not boot? Well, I was stable at the previous BIOS for weeks. What the fuck, Gigabyte? What a piece of crap. I mean, honestly, how can this not be stable? <laughs> how can it not even boot? Fucking hell. Honestly, I never... Yeah, it, it doesn't even do anything. Oh, now I'm in BIOS. Yeah. It goes to this screen also. Also another quirk of Gigabyte. It it goes to a different screen all the time. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Why? Oh, well, let's try more voltage of this voltage. I mean, it should even work at 1.4. But this is, this is just horrible. Okay, let's see what this fucker does now. I mean, honestly, I just, I want a different board. I don't know which board, but this board is just not it, man. It's not it. Not it at all. You would not buy it if I were you. No one should even buy it. I mean, it's you can't even buy it anymore in my country. They have refresh boards. Gigabyte always brings like a new board. This board is actually the the uh, the, the board from the previous set se, uh, 690 board to PCB and everything is exactly the same, and it just replaced the chipset. That's it. That's it. Nothing else. And later they bring like a beefed up version, like a new revision with some new uh, tweaks and uh, whatever. And there are like three revisions of this board. Why do you need from the same board? I mean, I don't like that. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just, I mean, if the board is better, then replace these boards. But of course they cannot do it. But think before you make a board, like, you know, I don't know. It just feels, everything just feels unfinished on Gigabyte side. You know what I mean? Like there's a new, motherboard like the pro x the set c man that's a whole mouthful every time c790 awards then the pro x and that board is 400 no 375 euros or something and that's supposed to be a better board but it's it looks the same it all it's almost the same and here it doesn't want to boot again Really? It booted before, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, it doesn't want to boot anymore. That's 7600. <laughs> boot failure, man. This whole fucking BIOS is a fucking failure, man. I'm going to try what is going on here. This is garbage, man. Honestly. Everything. Th there's, no <laughs> there's no reason. Well, I set it to zero. Maybe, yeah. Let train the VSSA and watch here. But honestly, I just I just think I have enough. I mean, it's if I have a wrong setting, I can understand. Of course, there's something wrong. You know, there is of course if you do something, but that's not always the case. Sometimes I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, go into BIOS and it doesn't even work. Like I can't even go into BIOS. It just sits there on a, with a black screen. I'm just staring at a black screen, two black screens, like for no reason, while, while it's perfectly stable. I mean, I have reboots, like 7600 megahertz yesterday, I trained and trained and trained and retrained in the BIOS, I mean, and it was stable in much, much two times, a, a couple of times, and I did other stress tests, whatever, OCCT, everything passes, nothing gets too hot, everything is perfectly fine, it's fast. And out of the blue, I get a reboot. 
<laughs> like, what the fuck? That, that just shows how, how garbage this motherboard is. It's not the CPU. It has nothing to do with the CPU. The CPU can't even do that. It has nothing to do with instability whatsoever. I mean, the CPU was at stock settings. And I also tr uh, tried to do it on um, uh, the Intel baseline. I, I tried all kinds of pro profiles, man. It, it, nothing works. It just rebooted randomly. Well, everything was stable, nothing hot, whatever. No issues, no voltage issue, whatever. It just reboots out of nowhere. It's a motherboard problem, 100%. You can also, you cannot uh, use, you can save a profile here. It doesn't want to start. Doesn't want to do it. What the fuck, <laughs> man? I'm telling you, this, these giga giggle boards are fucked up, man. Seriously, I'm having enough of this shit. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Again, on that. Honestly, why is it every single fucking time? <laughs> Why is it not booting? Fucking hell. Yeah, I have a CP of 95 and I cannot even boot at this this speed. You fucking kidding me? Well, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna reset. What I did was actually because Gigabyte is too lazy or they think it's a lot of money. There is like a reset button or there's a retry now and a multifunctional button. But if you want to, uh, there's also a white button. It looks very cheap, man. Come on, just make a normal button on there, man. These boards are 350 euros. Is it too much to ask to place a normal button on a fucking motherboard? Come on, man. Uh, also, if you want to clear CMOS, then you have to have a screwdriver in order to short uh, a shunt there on the motherboard. It's somewhere there. Like, what the fuck, man? So I uh, decided to, I never reset in BIOS, that's never a good idea. So I have the reset button here. I have it placed over the clear CMOS. So if there is an issue, I just play a clear CMOS and fuck you, everything goes over. You know, I do, I redo everything. So that's what I do right now because it doesn't want to boot. It doesn't want to do anything because it's a piece of crap. Uh, also, if you have like, uh, what also doesn't work properly on these motherboards is if you want, uh, if you have like an, um, you spend a lot of time in tweaking everything and it works and you want to save it as a file and flash in your BIOS or just reflash BIOS or for whatever reason you want to try something else and then you flash, uh, load up the other profile, it doesn't work. Uh, a lot of times it works. But a lot of times it also doesn't work because again this shit is full of crap it really is and it's not me being salty or whatever it, it's just proof there are so many issues with this motherboard it's just not funny anymore i want i want my money back i cannot send this even to my retail store for testing because quote unquote there's nothing wrong with it because it boots and it does you know blah 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 there's nothing wrong with it and even if there's something wrong, they test it on their CPU and they test it on a different thing. It's not the same. So they have to, I have to send the whole system there and test and blah, blah, blah. It's no, nope. And Gigabyte doesn't want to help either. They say, oh yeah, you have to contact your retail store. That's ACES for you there. Okay, well, it boots in Windows. So that's a good, always a good sign, but it's still fucked up. Okay, let's try this again. Just for shits and giggles. Try the same thing. Go into BIOS. I do exactly the same as before. Okay, let's go into here system multiplier. Jesus. Okay, here, go here. 
Gear mode, that's set to boot mode, disable fast boot because of the training, of course, and leave everything on stock. Okay, let's try this one first. So Really training, thinking, thinking, training, training. What should I do? Should I boot or not? Or do I feel lucky? Or <laughs> it is training. You can see the light going from left to right. It should boot. It really should. But what I think is that Gigabyte did something in the BIOS which completely fucked up the IMC on my CPU. Because an F5 BIOS, it works perfectly fine. So if this doesn't work, I just go on F5 BIOS and fuck it. It's just not worth it. Wait, I hear a pop noise from the speakers. Maybe it boots. Does it boot? No, I don't think it's going to boot. <laughs> I mean, come on, man, what the fuck? It makes no sense at all. This should boot. Just put it on ridiculous voltages. Everything just works, man. Oh, wait, I did... Uh, oh, shit, I think I forgot something. But even then, it should do that automatically, maybe. I did not put the DRAM voltage, but I think it should do that automatically, doesn't it? Let's find out. I don't know. I think it should. And it doesn't boot, I think. It's training again, I saw the light. Man, this takes like already like several minutes. Fucking hell. How do people have patience for this or time for this? You have to have a better motherboard than this because this is just a pain in the ass. It really is. And it doesn't want to boot. <laughs> the fuck? Honestly, man, this is shit. This board needs to go, man. I'm gonna fucking burn it. At least I have some form of pleasure with it. I, re I really think there's something with this fucking board, man. The board is broken or there's really something going on. Well, let me... Let's try this first. I don't think this is gonna boot either. But who knows? Who the fuck knows? I mean, I have more biscuits. That means that my CPU should be better. <laughs> I go from 90 to 95 biscuits. It's fucking crazy, man, this motherboard, this board. Train, motherfucker. Train, 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 train. No, my God. 
out. Oh my god. Still doesn't train. Well, trains, but my job doesn't train. Doesn't do anything. It should. It should be. It, it should have booted already. So I, I already know this is not gonna work. <laughs> Fucking hell. Really baffled, man. How bad this board really is. This is really proof that this board is fucking garbage. Oh man, 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 I think I'm just gonna load XMP and be done with it until I have another board. I don't want to spend any time with this piece of shit. Honestly. Everything is reset. Before this, I reset the BIOS. Uh, did clear CMOS, I mean, I reset, I pulled the BIOS battery, I pulled the power cord, and I did everything possible in order to flush and drain everything so everything got fresh energy but this board really doesn't like overclocking it really doesn't why, why having an eight layer pcb well it's a piece of crap well your bios is fucked up and everything is just not working properly I mean, you guys can see it man i mean come on and it shuts down again Horrible. What a horrible board. Yeah, it goes to another screen again. Oh god, man. So now what? Put this at 1.2 and this at uh, 1.3 and this at 1.44. I'll try this one more time and if this doesn't boot, then yeah. Then I don't know anymore. I'm done. Yeah, everything is auto. Let's see. There's no fucking reason why they shouldn't boot. It boot booted before. So there's there's something I have to reflash the bias again maybe. But <laughs> what the fuck? What what a lot of work man. A lot of work for no performance no performance at all. I mean honestly, it's just Yeah. I mean, this should work, man. It should work. I mean, these voltages I used for months or weeks on my other BIOS, and all of a sudden they don't work anymore. Really? Come on, man. And there's something really going on with your fucking BIOS, man. Yeah, everybody can blame CPU, whatever you want. I know better than that. It's just this goddamn fucking motherboard that is acting up. I don't think it's gonna boot. Yeah, it doesn't gonna. It doesn't gonna boot. <laughs> it's just fucking ridiculous. Fuck, man. Well, in the meantime, I'm gonna show you which board. That is the board. Oh. That is the board. Don't get that piece of crap. 
don't get it. It just it doesn't like overclocking. It doesn't like anything. Okay, it's just an XMP board. So if you want overclocking, you have to spend like I don't know, five hundred bucks on a motherboard. Fucking ridiculous, man. These prices these days, it's just fucking nuts. And it doesn't boot. Doesn't like it at all. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I ever saw. It really is. Never seen anything quite like this. Look how long it takes in order to boot. It's fucking horrible. Really, really horrible. These voltages are, are perfectly safe. There's nothing wrong with these voltages. It's, it should just work. But it doesn't, as you can see. Nope. <laughs> no boot. All of a sudden it doesn't want to boot anymore. Well, oh, fuck you, Gigabyte. I have fucking enough. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'm gonna load the XMP. There is no other option anymore. What an embarrassment. <coughs> well, this is my last gigabyte motherboard I buy. That's for damn sure. On AMD I had the same ish problems. Also a gigabyte hours uh, thing. X670 <laughs> No boot I don't think this is gonna boot either <laughs> Man, if this doesn't boot either, um, I don't know it Takes forever though <laughs> <clears throat> it should train properly. I have disabled fast boot. So, uh, yeah. I think I will uh, get the same no boot as before. Oh, wait a minute. It does boot now? Really? What a surprise. Wow. Wow, that's a first. A fucking motherfucking boot, man. Woo! XMP that is, but yeah, it boots. Jesus Christ. This is the worst motherboard I ever had, and I had quite a few motherboards. But this crap is just, no. I do not like it at all. Okay, let's do a memory test. I think this is gonna be very, very slow. Well, not very, very slow, but like, you know, it's XMP, so. <laughs> A hypervision, uh, this thing is still on. Oh, fuck it. Also, a setting that should be disabled automatically. Who uses this hyper. No, the. Uh, yeah, something we'll see later. <sighs> Jesus, this is very slow. Very, very slow. Okay, come on. 
come on. Jesus, this takes so long all the time. Jesus, 97. Sixty-five point seven. Uh, that's not really, 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 really slow, but it's also not really, really, really fast. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I have enough of this crap. This, this is how I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna do a few tweaks, and uh, yeah, this is. Uh, I just wanted to show you what it's like to have a gigabyte motherboard, and yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is it. I had enough, so. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one.